Thank God, because this is a, a great privilege that we were born here and raised up here and we are still here. That's why we, are, we are, have a strong belief that it's our responsibility to protect this land so our next generation might be able to see and have a privilege to see what we've been able to see. Wildlife, beautiful land, livestock, and, all, and even our culture. Hey everyone, my name's Kenny Mann. I was born and raised in a little tiny place called Athi River, which was about 20 miles away from the city of Nairobi in Kenya. My father had a cattle ranch there and the herders of the cattle were Maasai people in a vast area called the Kapiti Plains, which extends all the way to the Tanzanian border. There are about 7,000 Maasai there. Now, traditionally, Maasai keep large herds of livestock, cattle, sheep, and goats. And they're pastoralists, which means that they drive these herds from place to place uh, looking for new grazing. Well, they can't do that anymore because instead of being semi-nomadic, they are now restricted to their certain lands. Um, there's been long-term drought because of climate change. The land just simply cannot sustain these large herds of livestock any longer. They live in an incredible equilibrium with their livestock, their wildlife, and their land. Now, in Kitangela, this is extremely threatened because the city is encroaching. The Maasai land is incredibly valuable these days. Greedy developers want to get their hands on it, and poverty-stricken Maasai will sell land in order to survive. It is essential that they find other ways of making a living than through their livestock. So what did we come up with? Beekeeping, yup, zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz